द ह्यूमन बॉडी इज अ सिंगल स्ट्रक्चर बट इट इज मेड अप ऑफ बिलियंस ऑफ स्मॉलर स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ फोर मेजर काइंड सेल टिश्यू ऑर्गन एंड ऑर्गन सिस्टम अ ग्रुप ऑफ सिमिलर सेल फॉर्म टिश्यू अ ग्रुप ऑफ सिमिलर टिश्यू फॉर्म ऑर्गन ईच ऑर्गन डज अ पार्टिकुलर फंक्शन एंड ग्रुप ऑफ ऑर्गन वर्क टुगेदर टू परफॉर्म वन और मोर फंक्शन द ह्यूमन बॉडी मेड अप ऑफ इलेवन ऑर्गन सिस्टम इंटेगोमेंट्री सिस्टम स्केलेटल सिस्टम मस्कुलर सिस्टम लिम्पेटिक सिस्टम रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम नर्वस सिस्टम इंडोक्राइन सिस्टम कार्डियोवास्कुलर सिस्टम यूरेनरी सिस्टम एंड रिपोर्डक्टिव सिस्टम इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी डिटेल अबाउट इंटेगोमेंट्री सिस्टम फॉलोइंग टॉपिक्स वी आर गोइंग टू कवर वाट इज इंटेगोमेंट्री सिस्टम स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ स्किन फंक्शन ऑफ स्किन द इंटेगोमेंट्री सिस्टम is organ system that form outermost layer of human body it is formed by skin and its derivatives structure it perform many vital function including thermoregulation acting as a physical barrier between external and internal environment the integumentary system is the largest system of body accounting for 15% of total body weight the organ of integumentary system including skin skin appendages hair nails and exocrine glands millions of nerve endings are connected to the skin allowing you to feel different sensation such as pain heat and cold skin is composed of three layer epidermis the dermis and subcutaneous tissue epidermis the epidermis is stratified squamous epithelium layer it is outermost layer of skin that visible to eye this part of skin does not contain any blood vessel therefore dependent on the dermis for the supply of nutrients and disposal of waste product the cell in the epidermis are keratinocyte melanocytes langerhans cell and merkel cell keratinocytes these are most common type of cell in the epidermis and responsible for synthesis of protein keratin the primary function of keratinocyte is the formation of barrier against environmental damage by heat uv radiation water loss pathogenic bacteria and viruses the next one is melanocytes melanocytes are another type of cell in the epidermis these cell are responsible for the production of melanin which contribute to the color of skin of individual langerhans cell langerhans cell produce in the bone marrow also present in the epidermis and work to detect foreign substances and infection as a part of a immune system of skin merkel cell merkel cell are oval shaped type 1 macro receptor located in site of high tactile sensitivity the merkel cell has neuroendocrine function these cell are very close to nerve ending that receive the sensation of touch epidermis is divided into five sub layer stratum corneum stratum lucidum stratum granulosum stratum spinosum and stratum basal stratum corneum is the uppermost layer of epidermis act as a barrier that prevent unwanted material from entering stratum lucidum this layer is found particularly in the palms of the hand and the sole of the feet because of the presence of stratum lucidum in the palms and the sole they are thick the skin in the other part lack stratum lucidum stratum granulosum it is a thin layer of cell in the epidermis which help to form a waterproof barrier that function to prevent fluid loss from the body stratum spinosum is a layer of the epidermis found between the stratum granulosum and stratum basal this layer is composed of polyhedral keratinocyte this layer partially responsible for the skin strength and flexibility and the last one is stratum basal it is also known as stratum germinativum this is deepest layer and also home to melanocytes that produce melanin pigment which is responsible for the skin color the next layer of skin is the dermis this layer is located between the epidermis and subcutaneous layer the dermis has connective tissue blood vessel oil and sweat glands nerves hair follicles and other structure it is the thickest layer of skin and is made up of fibrous and elastic tissue the dermis is made up of two layer the papillary 
layer and the reticular layer papillary layer it is superficial lying deep to the epidermis the papillary layer is composed of loose connective tissue that is highly vascular the papillary layer supply nutrients to the selected layer of epidermis and regulate temperature the reticular layer the reticular layer has blood vessel and connective tissue that support the skin hair follicles oil and sweat glands and other structure are also found in the reticular layer the reticular layer of the dermis is important in giving the skin its overall strength and elasticity dermatitis is an inflammation of the papillary layer caused by infection radiation mechanical irritation or chemicals and the last one is subcutaneous layer this layer is also called hypodermis this is the innermost layer the hypodermis layer consists mainly of fat in the body abdominal area which often has more fat the hypodermis layer reaches up to 3 cm in the depth in other area such as eyelid the hypodermis layer has no fat and may be as thin as 1 mm it has many function including insulating our body protecting our body from harm storing energy and connecting our skin to our muscle and bone function of skin the skin of human body has various function protection the primary function of skin is to act as a barrier the skin provide protection from mechanical impacts variation in temperature microorganism radiation and chemicals thermoregulation one of the skin important function is to protect the body from cold and heat and maintain a constant temperature during warm period the vessel dilate the skin reddens and beds of sweat form on the surface in cold period the blood vessel constrict preventing heat from escaping vasodilation more blood flow greater direct heat loss vasocontraction less blood flow reduce heat loss sensation skin is sense of touch organ that trigger a response if we touch or feel something including thing that may cause pain and the skin also have biochemical function the skin is involved in the several biochemical process in the presence of sunlight a form of vitamin d is synthesized from a derivatives of steroid cholesterol in the skin